Hi there, everybody. It's another challenge for these two teams and a challenge for us in the commentary box, as always. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith's with me. Not too much of a challenge, I don't think. It should be a good game, this. Atletico Madrid, who, under Diego Simeone, have started to give Real Madrid a bit of a taste of their own medicine. Think of uh, the 2013 Copa del Rey final when uh, Simeone's side beat Mourinho's Madrid. Well, indeed, and they've been going places, haven't they, in recent years? 2014, so looking forward to this one. Well, I know I'm looking forward to having a look at these two, Alan. Obviously, it's a team game, but they're intriguing individuals, aren't they? They are, and uh, they don't just play for themselves, which is the satisfying thing. They lift the head if there's a ball to be played, rather than shooting themselves. They will play that ball. The Atletico Madrid lineup. Well, they're going to go with 4-3-3 three, three here, with uh, plenty of width to that attacking three. Yeah, you could almost describe it as the Dutch system down the years. And the three-pronged attack, it can be really potent, but it can be awkward as well for those wide lads. This is the Real Madrid lineup. Well, often when we look at these uh, three at the back formations, it's designed to get two strikers in with five in midfield, but it's even more enterprising, this. It is. You've got your two wing-backs who will be bombing up and down, trying to provide the width, and those two lads wide up top will play fairly narrow, I think. Well, Real Madrid, we've talked about it before, Alan, the, the club that really got European club football going with those five consecutive European Cup wins in the 1950s, but they've held their place in the in the pecking order. Well, they have. So many famous names, Pushkas, Di Stefano, been uh, two of the first ones really in those glory days and uh, the white kit it's just synonymous with success he's almost lent him the ball on that occasion he wants it returned and it's returned to him real threat from Atletico Madrid in these positions There goes the cross. Real Madrid, all eyes on them, but don't rule out the opposition. To Gallagher. Nepal. Molina. He's hit it straight at the keeper. Not really what he wanted to do. We feel good about that. A really strong and clean tackle. And let him get Madrid throw. Jimenez. Real Madrid had the ball. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. That's a useful ball in. Well, that's very good positional play, and he's uh, read the situation perfectly with that interception. And here's the cross. The great goal! left-hand corner couldn't really have done it any better another angle on it here so the first goal it's 1-0 
Molina. Getao. Carvajal. Plays down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. He really has tried, but still just that one goal to his name. No, he's looked lively and he's looked sharp. His manager will be pleased with his performance today. This could be a chance. Five for his second goal of the game, thwarted by the keeper this time. Yeah, and that's a good stop. He stayed on his toes, good reactions. play in the tackle it up here. he's kept it out referee's decision is a corner for Real Madrid It is corner after corner. given the throw here. Oh, tackle right on the edge of the pitch. Ball forced over the line. That's neatly done. Shots on here. Managed to stop the ball going forward with that block. Moved in, trying to jostle the opponent off his stride. Now the shot! Decent block. He's made the save. Coming in. Well, the referee has signaled for half time and it's 1 0 here. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. a bit of sympathy for the, the forward who's coming off. He hasn't done great, but sometimes, you know, the defenders get tired, you work them around, and you, you get your chances later on in the game, and he's not going to be on the pitch later on today. No, I mean, he had one or two chances during the course, not good chances, but he snatched at them, and it wasn't going to be his day, I don't think. That's going to be a yellow card to the player of Real Madrid. He did not hesitate producing that card, did he? Well, you run the risk when you go to ground like that with a slide tackle of getting into serious trouble. Yeah, I think so. And it was a poor tackle. It was badly timed. Free kick given. 
there's a real uh, discussion now about how to make the most of it. Goes the goal! Here's the cross. Well, it is a chance to relieve some of the pressure here by simply having the ball. You have to be a good player to wait a pass like that. I don't think, really. And here's the shot. Knocked it away. Great piece of defending. Griezmann. Jimenez. Depau. Well, now they've won the ball back in the middle of the park by intercepting that pass. Possession won back by Atletico Madrid here. Another turnover in play here with that interception. And it will go into the middle now. They put that cross far too close to the goalkeeper. Good take by the goalkeeper, but no pressure on him. De Pau. Atletico Madrid now, attacking dangerously. And in goes the cross. Good hands, bread and butter work really by the goalkeeper. But he did it very competently, he's having a good game. It's the tackle that stops the attack here. This is a key moment for the match. Manager, he knows he's got the lead. And he's now going to do his best to try and retain that. The goalkeeper comes out with a punch. The shot's on. Well, there was the opportunity to get them back on level terms. Well, I think he snatched at that a little bit. Just needed a cool ahead when it mattered. Here it is, the level of support. <laughs> it's fantastic. Fan. Fantastic. These fans seem on a mission today to come out here and uh, do their very best to engineer a win. The Red Madrid player is going to be penalised here. No surprise there, the manager bringing him off. He got One yellow and a second wasn't too far away. getting ready to come on.
Modric. Mendy. Brilliant team play, this. Shots on here. Got in the way of that, blocked it well. We're going to get a corner here because of that deflection. Well done, the goalkeeper, and he's hung on to the ball. We've got eight more minutes of the 90. Real Madrid still have a goal in hand. The scoreline hasn't changed for a while. Well, they might not be rushing to take the corner, then. A goal to the good, of course. So let's have a look at the possession stats on the screen now. There they are. Yeah, very close. I think you could probably tell that without even looking at the figures. Not much to split these two sides. Good piece of tackling there. To Gallagher. Ball played to Mendy. Modric. side of the bar, goal! The keeper thought he might get a hand on this, but no chance in the end. When he hit it, I think he might have been worried that it would go over the bar. It was below the bar, certainly off the bottom of the bar and in. Yeah, I'm not sure whether he actually meant to hit it that high up. But uh, he doesn't care now, he's loving that goal. Starting at 2 0. They've got the ball in the middle of the pitch here. Carvajal. Modric. You can tell he knows the game. He had a six, and the referee has now called the halt. The inquest is almost starting now, so soon after the final whistle, about the reasons for this defeat. Yeah, disappointment all round, and maybe one or two will point fingers in the dressing room because I don't think they all gave it their full effort, 100%, and that's inexcusable. I think he was the best performer in a good team today. Got himself a goal and uh, put in a really good shift. Excellent performance. And a final look at Antoine Griezmann. I think if he'd have been in better form today, we might have had a different result. But the fact is, he was below par, as was his team.